Motivation is a very overlooked factor to increase productivity in the workplace. Motivation is a psychological feature that gets a person to act towards a desired goal and control and sustain certain goal-directed behaviors. No one method of motivation is proven to increase productivity and employee mor moral the most. But there are many different ways to accomplish the same goal. Motivation starts off by the managers having to realize what needs his or her employees need to fulfill. Every employee is different and finds motivation in different places. It is the manager's job to learn what method works best for the workplace as a whole. <clears throat> Many employees' needs can be classified into Maslow's hier hierarchy of needs. Maslow's hierarchy of needs breaks down all needs by physiological, safety, belongingness, esteem, and self-actualization needs, where the lowest unsa unsatisfied need has the highest motivating potential. As a manager, you have to decide which level is the most important and build a motivation strategy around that. A good area to focus on would be belongingness, uh, esteem, and self-actualization needs. This, would, this can be triggered by setting up expect, expectancy theory style of motivation or merit pay. Most people respond well to positive feedback, and this will give them a feeling of confidence and success. Another way to hit the spot is with merit, merit pay. By employees earning extra money, they can feel a feeling of accomplishment and realize what productivity does to your paycheck. Merit pay is a term describing extra pay awarded to an employee on the basis of merit. This means that it provides performance-related bonuses for workers who perform their job effectively, according to the criteria of the situation. A common argument is whether merit pay is a motivational benefit given in the workplace or it can contradict the work environment entirely. The positive effects of merit pay will lead to better work outcomes, contribute towards better output, and retaining workers. Merit pay can contribute to a better work outcome because it is an incentive given out to workers when they show more efficient or productive work. This is a motivational tool because workers believe that they are getting rewarded for their hard work. When there is a money incentive to work toward, there is a better chance that the employee will put in more work in order to receive this benefit and will continue to be as long as money is an incentive to work. Merit pay also has its ability to retain employees and keep them willing to work. Money is one of the biggest incentives to work, and knowing that your hard work is being noticed is an incentive in itself. Employees keep their work effort up and their willingness to work because they know that they have benefits in reach with the input of more effective and efficient work. This adds motivation for workers to compete with other employees to receive these benefits. Merit pay does have its benefits in the work environment, and it is clear that it does add motivation to the employees to work more productively. There will always be competition and conflict in the workplace that may demise the effects of merit pay. However, it can also motivate employees to reach a better pay raise, and this is why merit pay is a positive effect for motivation. When you first hear of merit pay, it seems like a very good and simple idea to increase the productivity of each employee. Although the merit pay system can add unneeded pressure to employees and be detrimental to their personal feelings, some employees do not work well under pressure and this can have a negative effect on the company overall. This can cause employees to be more worried on their results than on improving their performance. If there is a deadline for merit pay, many employees will be stressed and worried about being as successful as possible. This can reduce employee performance and can cause reduced productivity. Also, after employees' pay is increased, many employees can become very dissatisfied with their own performance. This can lead to employee stress and depression in the workforce. The merit pay system can change the dynamic of a team or a workforce. By having extra money available to all employees, many employees will turn the workforce into a competition between each other. This can make the employees forget about the main goal of the organization and simply focus on their own performance. Large pay differences can create feelings of injustice that can diminish cooperation, quality, and commitment to long-term success. If one employee is performing really well compared to others, other employees will act negatively towards this employee and it can cause decreased productivity in workforce teams. Many teams, when employees begin to receive benefits, they may become overconfident and believe that they do not have to work as hard to produce as much. For this reason, their commitment to the organization and teams can decrease, causing reduced productivity. There are many external things that can affect the performance of employees in a workforce. Some of these things include new technology, natural disasters and changes to the economy and the evaluation system of employees. 
When new technology comes into the economy, it can affect the overall productivity of the organization and each employee. If one employee's job is more affected by the new technology or changing environment, they will have increased productivity and will have increased merit pay. This is not fair to the workers that are hardly affected by the external factors. The evaluation system of employees can also be inaccurate and can cause the employees to be unfairly evaluated. All in all, when taking into account the negative and positive effects of merit pay in an organization, we can determine that merit pay is in fact an effective way to reward employees, yet we are not sure if it is the most effective. Aside from using bonus pay as a motivator, employee promotion is an alternative that may prove to be more effective. <clears throat> One theory that helps to prove employee promotion effectiveness would be expectancy theory. According to expectancy theory, employees will exert a high level of effort if they believe that the effort will lead to good performance, that good performance will lead to rewards such as promotion, that the rewards will satisfy his or her personal goals. Therefore, when managers communicate to employees that top performers in the next few weeks will be promoted to a position with more pay and responsibility, the employees recognize that their high level of effort will lead to top performance, which will lead to promotion. This promotion uses both an extrinsic and intrinsic motivator, which will most likely satisfy their personal goal because they feel a sense of accomplishment and progress within the company. Without a possible promotion or advancement in the company, there are several negative consequences for the employee and the company. First of all, when employees realize that there are no promotion opportunities within the company, they will start to look elsewhere for a job with possible promotions. In fact, in according to the Society of Human Resource Management, 29% of workers with no promotion potential will seek another job. Secondly, the absence of possible promotions lowers the morale and motivation of the employees that do choose to stay, which lowers job satisfaction and performance. Lastly, considering that approximately a third of the employees may leave the company, replacing those employees will be another expense, which will ne negatively affect the bottom line, bottom line profits. Ultimately, this method of motivation and retention proves its effectiveness through expectancy theory as well as providing advancement in long-term career goals. Motivating employees can come in many different forms and techniques that vary across a very wide spectrum. Motivation does not always have to take the form of a completing task and receiving rewards for doing so. It can easily take the form of a manager threatening or punishing employees for doing something that the manager did not agree with. When this occurs within an organization, it is referred to as negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement can take the form of a manager simply nagging an employee and can extend all the way to the threat of an employee being fired from the job. This type of motivation is effective because in many cases it reminds the employee that they cannot take their job and benefits for granted. At the appropriate time, a negative reinforcement can take an underperforming employee and bring him or her back to the organization's average production. For example, there may be a case in which an employee has been underperforming in the past month or so, and the manager threatens to take away a certain benefit such as vacation time. More often than not, the employee will realize what has been occurring and will change their way of working. In this case, the employee will either change their work effort or will continue to work in a way that is unacceptable for the organization and will be fired. In certain cases, the use of punishing an employee can be very effective as it provides them with a standard that has to be maintained. An effectively used punishment or negative reinforcement reminds the employee that maintaining a job of the organization is something that has to be earned and is not a right. The top four executives at Google have been paid in total $15 million in bonuses. This may sound extensive to some, but it could be an effective motivation strategy if Google can prove that those four executives actually earned those bonuses. To determine this, Google would have to go to through their compensation system to see how valuable their jobs are at the company. There are many different ways to determine how valuable a certain position is and how much money they should earn in comparison to others. An effective compensation system will attract employees, retain existing employees, and motivate employees. To have an effective compensation system, you must have good compensation management. Good compensation management 
analyzes jobs, determines the relative worth of jobs to the company, discovers what other employers are paying for specific key jobs, and establish, establishes appropriate pay level for each job. If Google knows that the four executives they paid the bonuses to have very valuable jobs, it would be a good motivator. If Google could prove that the four executives they had very valuable jobs and their employees would probably not be very happy, they would not feel any procedural justice in the way Google decided to give out the bonuses. This would make employees feel a lack of motivation as they would not think bonuses were given out fairly. Under these circumstances, it would probably be better if Google used other methods other than bonuses to motivate their employees. A key component of reinforcing behavior, regardless uh, if it is positive reinforcement or negative reinforcement, is that the reinforcement has to be continuous. If the reinforcement is not continuously applied to the employee, there is a strong chance that the employee will fall back into their bad habits. When the desired behavior is continuously reinforced, there is more likely a chance of the employee permanently learning what is to be expected of them. To include, it is quite obvious that there are many ways to motivate your employees. You can motivate with merit pay, promotions, and just by setting up an effective compensation system. From analyzing all the methods, it is clear that merit pay and positive reinforcement have the greatest effect on the employee's motivation. With merit pay, we found that employees develop better work habits and productivity because everyone would like to earn some more money without, doing, without having to do more work. Just be more efficient and successful in the work you're doing. Although there are a few negative effects of merit pay, the positive effects definitely outweigh the negative effects. Increased productivity and work inside the office is what managers are looking for and they do that by motivating their employees. With the expectancy theory, the main positive effect of it is that it makes it easier to retain your employees. When you have employee turnover, often it makes it difficult to keep a consistent level of work and productivity. By motivating employees with merit pay and expectancy theory, it is shown to increase morale and pro productivity in the workplace.